Hello, everyone. Welcome to Craft Beer Bucket with Big Ray and Mike, where we review beers you have to try before you die. Well, hello there, you rock star of a person. I know you're a rock star. You're listening to Craft Beer Bucket List. You are like next level cool, and it just makes Mike and I that much cooler having you listening to us right now. I mean, we're already pretty cool, but you just took us to the next level. Killed so it. thank you for that. You are totally killing it. Um, so anyway, Mike and I are about to kill it with another bonus shorty. Woo! Woo. Totally getting down on these. Are, these are a lot of fun. Uh, we haven't done yeah. enough of these yet to get a whole lot of feedback. So uh, definitely let us know what you think about these. Leave us that five-star review on Apple Podcasts. If you haven't already, uh, drop a review there. Send us a DM on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and let us know what you think. But in the meantime, Mike and I each have a beer that we're going to review. And uh, before we do that, um, I think I, you know I really think we should just dive in, Mike. Well, first of all, our sticker sponsor is Martin House Brewing at a Fort Oh, West. oh, thank you, thank you for that. See, Mike, you're always you always got my back, dude. Yeah. And, wow. And it's and it's strategic. Um, one of our beers is. The Martin House beer. Anyway, so the beers we're going to have. So <laughs> tell them how they can get the sticker. Sorry. Are these yeah, like, like always, send us a message on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And, and this time, just say, hey, I want that sticker. Do it within seven days of the release date of this podcast. So we'll know, of course, which podcast to send you a sticker for. Like it matters. They fly off the shelves anyway when we get those. And so be sure to send us that message quick to make sure you get your sticker. And... uh Boom. That's just what we do. So thank you again to Martin House Brewing out of Fort Worth, Texas for being so awesome. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Um, so the beers we're going to have tonight, um, I'm going to be drinking Martin House Green Dream. It's a green apple candy sour uh, with lactose, 6%. And then Ray will be drinking the Smutty Nose Pineapple Cherry Upside Downs and Cake Sour. So this is an all sour shorty. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like my dating life back in the day oh i know right zing oh my gosh yeah so uh yeah you're gonna have the 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 beer from smutty nose they're out of hampton new hampshire the pineapple cherry upside down cake sour it's at 4.9 percent uh why don't you crack that beer open sir man i'm so ready dude here we go do it that sounded pretty good here you go. Here's mine. You ready? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 wow. Man, that sounded really good. To me, it did. <laughs> that, that was fantastic. Man, the smell of this. It, the smell is coming out of the can, up through my nostrils. It smells... Oh, yeah? It smells like a green Jolly Rancher. Like you know, like how you oh, used to put the, the Apple Jolly Rancher into the Zima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's what this. That's, wow. Yeah. I forgot. Wow. Wow. That's old, so old school, there, dude. I yeah. forgot all about that. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's yeah. Here we go. I got to know if that's what it tastes like. I know you literally just took a drink, but I'm ready for your uh, your first thoughts here. Uh, my first thoughts are it's really darn good. It does taste like a sour Jolly Rancher candy. Like it's obviously right. like a sour version of that, right? Not, I mean, but it's got right. the sweetness and uh, th this is not what I expect. I mean, like I expected something from Martin House to be pretty good, right? But this is, it tastes great so far. What about you up there? So it's obvious to me that I'm drinking a sour beer. Yeah. What I'm really working to get is... I want to be able to distinguish pineapple and cherry and I'm getting fruited sour here. I'm not able to pick out just yet either of those flavors or upside down cake, which is kind of hard to nail down because there's, there's so many varieties of those. You know what I mean? Um, and really it's just a, a cake made in like a bunt tin or something like that. Just put the fruit on the top, flip it upside down and yeah, well, it's all in how you bake it, right? It could be any, right. any kind of cake. You're the foodie. I'm going to go with you on this. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. You take the bunt cake, and in the bottom of it, you put like your, your pineapples and your cherries, and you put your cake better on top. And yeah. Now when you pull oh, out yeah. the oven, you just flip it over, right? And then what's on the bottom is now on the top. 
So I, I used to love going to my grandma's house back in the, the 80s and 90s. You know, she loved, loved, loved to make upside down cakes. And I loved, loved, loved to eat them. <laughs> right. Uh, so this is kind of reminiscent of that, if you will, beyond just the sour. But I'm not able to pick out yet any individual flavors. So, uh, so I'm still I'm still working to draw those yeah. out, man. Letting it roll around my palate a bit. It's a good beer. It's yummy. But if it's on the can, and we talk about this so much, I want to taste what it says it's going to taste like on the can. Sure. Um, so so this, from the moment I cracked it open, uh, again, I'm having the Green Dream by uh, Martin House out of Fort Worth. Um, from the moment, moment I cracked it open, you could smell almost like the Apple Jolly Rancher coming through. And the taste followed that quite a bit. So it is very tart. Um, but it still has that sweetness, uh, and the apple Jolly Rancher type flavor to it. I don't know if you, you know how you dip the, the apple slices in the caramel. Oh yeah. Have you done that like, with the granny Smith, the oh, granny, granny Smith apples. Yeah. So it's kind of like, like a little bit like that. Like you get the sour and the sweet at the same time. Um, it's got, a, a, a basically a medium body, medium carbonation. Uh, this beer is really good. Um, I like the can art too. So it's got like what, what I would call the, I mean, what, what is that guy? Is that the swamp thing? I'm, I'm showing Ray my can on video here. It looks like but, swamp thing to me, yeah, like back, like the that, 1950s, you know, horror yeah, movie type yeah. swamp thing. So it's, it's got that going on and then, you know, it's got the generally like green and greenish yellow themes to it. So it's a pretty cool looking can as well. Um, but overall, man, I, I like this beer a lot. This is this is good beer. This is this may turn the tide for me on the sour beers. Overall, um, yeah. So again, uh, Green Dream. It's a green. So they say it's a green apple candy sour with lactose, and it's six percent. Um, and they make it very obvious. It says made in Texas by Texans. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> but they make they make some good stuff. I mean. Uh, you know, yeah. a lot of people know them for the pickle beer or the, the hot pickle beer and all that kind of stuff, um, or the best made pickle beer, um, which is kind of a fun beer. Um, but man, it's real, really good. I'm kind of wowed by it, to be honest. Well, there you go. I just, I always have, always have a negative thing for sours and this one's not that. So it's good. What about you over there, sir? So man, I have tried seven different ways from Sunday here to pick out these <laughs> flavors. I'm desperate for pineapple or cherry. And where this is definitely, it's a fruity beer. It's fruity. You yeah. know, it's, it's sour. It's not super sour. It's not like a super harsh punch. You know, our first shorty, I had a Berliner vice and those have like, like that, that soured a soured wheat, if you will. Now I'm just like really tart. This is almost like that. Uh, just dial down a little bit. But what I'm finding is, you know, we're recording this in uh, late November. So sours are typically a summer beer for me. Yeah. Uh, but this, I feel, is a sour that could be year round. And, uh, and, uh, and this is going to sound bad, but I mean it in a good way. Because this is so bland <laughs> in the flavors <laughs> that I could pick out of it. Aww. Right. Um, it, it works for it and it, it's to the benefit, in my opinion, because it doesn't taste like specifically a pineapple cherry upside down cake. It just tastes like a yummy sour beer. So mm. that to me works for a year round. And now this is, you know, it's even right on the can. It says limited release sour. I think they should make this a year round sour because yeah. I think this could work year round because it doesn't have those specific flavors that you would tie to a season. So huh. maybe something for them to consider. Maybe that might, they could be like, Big Ray, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. But this is what my taste bros feel like. This is my emotions coming out to you guys as they are. And that's just where I'm at. Hmm. I know that'll work. That's right. It'll um, work, Mike. I'm really yeah. starting to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said, we're, you know, we're talking about recording this. We're recording it a couple of days before Thanksgiving here in 2021. Um. And, uh, I, I think that's, I don't know, like, uh, for mine, I think it's a perfect, uh, time to, to drink this beer. So I, I think it's fine. Um, yeah. 
So I'm, I'm going to rate my beer and give you my song pairing. I think we need to get to that point and wrap this up, right? Because this is the shorty, the shorty sour, sour and shorty. That's right. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> anyhow, a lot of jokes there. Um, I had the Martin House uh, Brewing's Green Dream, the 6%, 6% ABV. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 for their sour. Whoa. Um, yeah, only because it's it's really, it, it's making me rethink the whole sour thing. It's really good, Ray. Um, so if you get a chance, folks, to grab this, I would definitely recommend it. Right. So, so 9 out of 10. I'm going to pair it, or my song pairing is actually going to be, I'm going to go old school again with that because my last, last couple times I've had a song pairing across our episodes. I've been going old school and old school and old school. I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to go with the Everly Brothers. All I have to do is dream, um, which came out in the late 50s. So I'm going to go with Everly Brothers. All I have to do is dream. Sir, what about you? What's your uh, what's your rating and your pairing there? So I'm going to give this only a 7 out of 10. Or it's delicious. And I would totally drink this one again. I would go back to this beer. But the the clincher for me is, I, and I'm harping on this, I know, but I can't get over the fact that the pineapple or cherry doesn't ring true to me um, anywhere. Uh, so it's delicious. It's totally crushable. Honest. It's low ABV, so you can have a few of these, and it's okay. I think it comes in at 4.6 or 4.7. So either way, below 5%. And uh, maybe I'm wrong. Is it 9? I think it's 4.9. Four point okay, four point nine. So either way, under five percent ABV, Mike. Right. So still crushable in my opinion. And uh, thanks for uh, double checking me on that. Uh, <laughs> You're all right. But Smutty Nose Brewing, I think you all got something here. Just relabel the can. That would be my advice. Um, so I'm gonna go also with an old school song, Mike. Yeah, let's I hear think it. It's, I think it's uh, by the Birds. And it's called Turn, Turn, Turn. Oh, yeah. how does that go? I'm not singing it. Won't do oh, it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not no, going to I'm not going to embarrass myself or uh, force the listeners to turn the volume down immediately. I sing on the podcast all the time. Uh, you do, and you know, God love you for it. I do on occasion, but um, I try to avoid that. But I don't know why that song popped in my head, but it did. And I think it's just because I said this is a, a sour for a year round, and uh, that, that song is like, it's just this, you know, for every season, turn, 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 whatever. And it's right. like, you know what? This is a sour for all seasons, man. Sure. So I'm, I'm on board with that at least. Yeah. Well, to, to summarize for us here today, uh, Ray had the pineapple cherry upside down cake sour from Smutty Nose out of Hampton, New Hampshire. It's at 4.9% 4, 4. ABV, sir. Uh, Ray paired it with the birds, turn, 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 and gave it a 7 out of 10. I had the Green Dream from Martin House Brewing in Fort Worth, Texas. It sits at 6% ABV. I paired it with the Everly Brothers. All I have to do is dream the oldies from the late 50s, eight, late 1950s. And I gave it a 9 out of 10. So those are two more beers on our craft beer bucket list. Two more beers you have to try before you die. And Ray, uh, it's a solid lineup. Absolutely right it is, man. Right. Solid lineup. So... so- Cool. Well, thank you for uh, helping me. Uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, doing this shorty with me. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. Go ahead. I'll let you take us out. All right. So, Mike, you're welcome. I'll just say that. Uh, so I love doing these. And this is actually a lot of fun, dude. The little shorties here. It's just like, woo, get up and go. But to the listeners, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this, I'm, Hopefully this is as much fun for you as it is for Mike and I. Uh, I hope it's so much fun that you go directly right now to Apple Podcasts, if that's where you're listening, and give us that five-star rating. Leave us a review. We love those. We're working towards getting 50 reviews right now, so help us get there. We would love you for that. Also, while you're at it, hit us up on social media. Find the breweries that we talked about today on social media. Look at our sticker sponsor on social media. Show them some love. We're all about supporting local on Craft Beer Bucket List. We are also about that life of not drinking and driving, drinking responsibly, and doing the right thing. So we love all those things, and we love you guys. Thank you so much for checking out another awesome episode of Craft Your Bucket List, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Adios.
Crap Beer Bucket List is partially supported by Red Dirt LLC. Red Dirt is a parks, recreation, and tourism services agency with the goal to provide the tools, information, and leadership to help guide, plan, and market your organization or business. Red Dirt provides media management, photography and videography, research and analysis, and overall management for excursions and experiences for your agency. Visit reddirt.us.